Hi everyone, this is the last video you see before I get my hair did and I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Maybe something a little light in the front and then darker in the back. I'm thinking about doing very like dark panels. I am feeling the blonde more with this edgier haircut so I want to keep the bangs alive and maybe some more PC layers um, because I have more fun doing updos with PC layers even though it does make it more difficult. I just don't like having my hair all one length. It's a boredom. Moving on, I love lipstick and if you're here you either love pumpkin poppy, you love vegan products, you love indie products, or you love lipstick. Either way I'll be reviewing Sinister Ballet for you. All the labeling and artwork has been sketched by Christy Cutsforth herself. You can actually see the preliminary sketch of this collection on her Instagram and it's oh my god so gorgeous. So, um, diving into this gorgeous lippy collection, Orchard, a nice, rich, deep purple lipstick. It's got like a lot of blue tone in it. Now, if I were formulating a color like this personally, I guess I would have personally felt to make this matte so it stays on very easy. It's actually pretty innovative that she made it kind of uh, very creamy. Uh, these definitely remind me of a very kind of like MAC amplified cream in a way, which is extremely rare to find in a, in a, in a vegan lip product um, considering the lack of beeswax, which a lot of companies use as emollients products. But um, I also love the vividness of this because it's also really hard to find vivid products that are vegan. Now obviously this is a little bold for some of you so you can always try sharing it out for work um, or putting pink underneath of this. I suppose if you're going as an evil witch for Halloween you would definitely want to dollop this on in extreme opacity if you're going to a makeup show. Um, if you like gothic clothing this would be super free. on point. And definitely one of my favorites in the collection. It's extremely gorgeous and wearable and you rarely hear me say that um, often when I'm uh, saying what my favorite color is in a collection. I tend to prefer or my eye catches on things that are extremely rare but I do think that this is a very gorgeous pigmented lip color. I could see a lot of people wishing that this was their real lip color but I could see people with very fair skin that might be lacking pigmentation um, might really enjoy this color because it'll give them that little bit of umph and make them appear younger. So this definitely is um, one of my favorites in the collection. Pirouette, and this is definitely one of my personal picks that I like for myself and it is a little softer than a natural lip tone It's definitely like a silky sweet ballet color. The texture is the same as tortured and pirouette actually They're all very creamy, um, but if you ever ever want to see any descriptions of opacities and finishes she picks for her collections They're all online along with the collection, but these are all super creamy you've actually heard about this collection in advance is the transformative lip glosses. You have a clear and a dark. Uh, black is, um, or Coven is the black sh shade, and these can make your gloss look however you want. I'm just going to put this on bare lips so you can kind of see it. This is 10 millimeters of product. Now, I've actually been getting some questions about the texture of these glosses and what they're meant to do. They're meant to change the color and, the, and um, not necessarily the texture, but they will do that just because it's a gloss. Um, and just give it an overall different feel vibe. These kind of remind me of MAC's uh, Super Glasses or Dazzle Glasses in a way where you lay them over the lipstick and you just get sort of a three-dimensional uh, glimmer, shimmer, uh, look to the lips. They just look like glass. These are definitely traditional. Um, does that? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. These are definitely on par with pumpkin and poppies. You know, it's their signature texture. That very soft, sweet, wonderful vegan texture. These smell like nothing. I don't see a smell. I'm sure there's. If there's a scent in here, I can't pick it up is ephemera. Ephemera? I think so. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong because sometimes if I'm not familiar with the piece she's uh, theming this after, I will say it wrong. Ephemera? I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm saying that so wrong. But here's the clear one. It kind of reminds me of Max. Um, I think it was like vanilla sugar or something along those lines. But this actually is a little bit prettier. This does have like a nice really pretty pinky a sparkle in it. So they're just like a whole lot of fun. 
creating my own lip combo using a couple um, colors. I chose Pirouette because it is definitely a personal favorite of mine because I could definitely see this with a lot of looks I like to create. Just a really silky ballet pink. And then I also wanted to do something unusual because obviously I think Ephemera would look gorgeous on this. So I wanted to try it with Coven. And I actually really think it's a whole lot of fun with uh, Coven. It almost gives it like a lavender sort of hue. So the collection is definitely mix and match. You could sort of do it to whatever you like to do, your liking. Um, once again, this is a Halloween collection. Um, so it does have some fun, unusual pieces to play with. I'm wondering what the inspiration behind Sinister Ballet collection is. A lot of you who know Veggie Beauty might know that she loves horror films. So this collection is definitely on par with it. It's a very old, um, not very old, I think it's 1977 was the year of the horror film and it is based on a deep threatening secret that threatens the lives of students. The film is shot in purple, pink, and red so that kind of inspires the collection colors. Do I think that this collection is worth $50? In all honesty these lipsticks are long lasting, very creamy, not harsh on the lips. She never ever ever does anything that's like drying or horrible on the lips. If you were shopping with MAC, uh, two of these lipsticks would already cost you 30 not to mention the lipsticks would be like 20 a pop. There are 4 grams of lipstick per tube and then 10 milliliters per gloss. Plus you're getting the personalization of artwork and packaging which does cost money for them to produce the boxes. It's far more easier to store. I literally just have a drawer of her boxes. I haven't depotted the boxes. I kind of like the little boxes. This was just a review of the fun collection. I hope it gave you some insight onto what Sinister Ballet is. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.